Lee's Tangram Animals, written by Maribeth Boltz, illustrated by Rush Cress. It was the first day of school, and Lee stood alone, missing his home in China. Everywhere there was shouting and laughter in a language Lee worked hard to understand. When the bell rang, Lee hung up his backpack and placed the gift his father had sent on his teacher's desk. We're so happy you're in our class, Lee, said Miss Hess, opening her present. It was a Tangram puzzle Lee's father had made, along with Tangram puzzle cards. What a lovely gift, said Miss Hess. Would you like to tell the children about the Tangram puzzle? Lee looked down at the floor. That's okay, Lee, said Miss Hess. Josh, why don't you pick a shape from the puzzle and describe it to the class? Josh picked up the five triangles. This shape has three sides and is called a triangle. There are two small, one medium, and two large triangles in the puzzle. Miss Hess held up another shape. What makes this one a square? Becca answered, it has four sides that are the same length. The last shape was trickier. This shape has two pairs of opposite sides that are parallel. The word parallel means two lines that run side by side and are an equal distance apart, said Miss Hess. Like railroad tracks, asked Sam. That's right, said Miss Hess. It's called a parallelogram. Miss Hess put the Tangram puzzle and the cards on a table next to Lee's desk. During free time, Lee watched as kids covered Tangram pieces with other pieces. Two small triangles covered the square exactly. Two small triangles and a square covered the parallelogram. One day, Miss Hess told the class they would be starting an animal science unit. I'll give you some riddles and then you can guess the animals we're going to study, said Miss Hess. The first animal is a symbol of the United States. It is one of the largest birds of prey, and its eyesight is excellent. Any guesses? asked Miss Hess. Lee knew right away. Too shy to raise his hand, Lee had an idea. He quickly looked through the Tangram cards and arranged the puzzle. He showed Miss Hess as she passed his desk. How clever, Lee, said Miss Hess. You're right. The bald eagle will be the first animal we'll study. This second animal's skeleton is not made of bone, but of cartilage. Most of these animals have four rows of teeth. They live in the ocean, and their babies are called pups, said Miss Hess. Sam guessed. A walrus? You're getting warm, teased Miss Hess. Lee searched through the cards again and arranged the Tangram puzzle. Right again, Lee, said Miss Hess. Can you tell the kids what you've made? A shark, said Lee proudly. Miss Hess gave the class the last riddle. This animal lives in Australia. They need little water to survive. They are the largest marsupial mammals, and they use their big tails to steer and balance. Lee didn't recognize the word marsupial, but he thought he knew the answer. He found the card, and this time he showed it to Josh. Want to try? Lee asked. Josh moved the Tangram pieces into place. I've got it, Miss Hess, he said. Good job, said Miss Hess. Lee, could you give the kids one more clue to the riddle so they can get it too? Lee's heart pounded. Would he get all the words right? This animal carries its baby in a... Pouch, said Lee. It's a kangaroo, said the class. 
Just then, there was a clap of thunder, and the rain poured down. During inside recess, Lee showed the kids how to make other tangram animals, such as lions, giraffes, camels, and mountain goats. A few weeks later, Lee brought a surprise for the class. Miss Hess invited Lee to share a riddle about it. Lee began, Inside this box, there are puzzles that came from China, and each has seven pieces. Can you guess what they are? Tangrums, said the class. And there are enough for everyone, said Lee proudly. <laughs>